you know, it's that cacophony of sounds. It's being low to the ground and feeling fast when you're not actually going so fast. It's the smell of octane and the Weber carburetors. Ultimately, I mean, I find myself driving home and just taking the long way quite frequently. My name's Aidan Clark. I've had several businesses in the uh, clothing sector and I'm an absolute car tragic. I've always uh, loved to have a little garage you can go and have a sit in and you know, enjoy your vehicles. So I decided to put my garage under my house. I've really been attracted to the make of Porsche because you know you hear the story that it's a driver's car. I couldn't help but look at the air-cooled models and just love that bygone era and the shape and the simplicity. And I came across a 356 that had been beautifully modified. The 356 that I have is crazy. It's uh, it's running you know disc brakes and it's lowered and it's running modern GT3 seats. It's running a Bernie Bourbon V-Dub 2.3 litre race engine that's probably good for about 200 horsepower. So yeah, like a lot of things that uh, I've been involved with, she's not exactly standard. My background really comes from, I guess, the family influence. Mum and Dad were selling clothing at a market in New Zealand when I was a young kid in the 70s. And ultimately, even though I thought I'd end up in other industries, I gravitated to clothing. And my first foray into my own businesses were a sports brand, Two Times You, and then more recently, a workwear and motorcycle brand. Saints has been an exciting brand to be involved with. It really came out of a passion for riding motorcycles and, and driving cars. And, and I guess what we sort of saw, there wasn't anything that really covered fashion and the function of protecting. We were the first company in the world to create a single layer of denim that was capable of sliding down the road for, for over four seconds and not ripping. Every piece of fabric that we have developed in both the last two brands has been modified, enhanced. Every motorcycle and every car I've owned, I can't help modify for performance. Right now I've got a Lamborghini with twin turbos that's 1100 horsepower, which tears your face off. There's a commonality between my businesses and I think my car and bike collections too. So she's obnoxious and loud. She's uh, pretty quick off the mark and very, very uh, enjoyable to drive. I joke that I get out of that car with a clone of uh, 98 Octane. She is air cooled, you know, she can get hot on a long journey. This engine in particular is, is pretty bulletproof. She revs beautifully. I guess the only thing is, is she probably runs out of gears. With the original four speed 356 box in her, she's sort of running out of gears at about 120k, and that's usually plenty fast enough. She's a gorgeous car, but she has her idiosyncrasies, you know. I, I know exactly when she's ready to go and catch her with a little rev of the engine. Um, you know, this is the neat thing about old cars, you get to know them. I can feel the way through the little notchy gearbox when I need to, without uh, hitting a synchro or, you know, uh, having to double the clutch. It's one of those vehicles that, um, for me, I, I love driving it. I have no problems changing gears and enjoying it, but she's usually a handful when I give the keys to one of my friends. I've been quite blown away with how she sits so flat and gets around a corner. And certainly uh, in the wet, you've got to make sure you grab a little bit of opposite lock from time to time. But in the dry, quite an amazing little car to go and enjoy in the hills. We're lucky enough around Melbourne to have a few twisty roads that uh, I might go up and down from time to time. Most of the cars that I've bought, I've enjoyed for several years and then sold. But uh, this Outlaw here, I've had this 356 for 11 years and I don't think I'm ever going to sell it. I think that uh, a secret to success is definitely an absolute stubbornness and tenacity. I think, you know, my latest brand, Saint, has a tagline, Unbreakable, and quite honestly, I feel that's kind of a, a tagline for my life. You've got to take what comes at you, and I believe that sort of uh, absolute blind faith, stubbornness, and a hard work ethic usually gets you through.